Hello everyone and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie and today I'm looking forward to this cookbook, Drink Me, Curious Cocktails from Wonderland. This is by Nick Perry and Paul Rosser. I'm not an avid cocktail maker. We, we usually make something really fast, like a Moscow Mule or something. That's kind of our go-to. But I do like doing it for friends when friends do come over. And I love Alice in Wonderland. It's one of my favorite books and world. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have to offer inside. Plus, the cover looks really cute. I love it. So let's see. Ooh, we even have a chessboard right in the forefront. Let's see what the table of contents has to say. This is kind of my first time looking through this book. I wanted to, I guess, surprise myself while you guys are watching too. So we have an introduction. So it introduces us to spirits and liquors and all kinds of stuff, different techniques, equipments, tools, all the basic stuff. We have part two, which is all of your cocktails. Then they have a part three, which has like batch recipes, which is very nice. So that includes things like syrups, liquors, infused spirits, puree, and juices. There's fat washed spirits. I don't even know what that is. That's cool. And then we have dehydrating fruit for garnish, which is a great idea. And it looks super fancy. So let's see what it has inside. It's very, I mean, I love the decorations on the side. It's a really cool little book. Um, it kind of looks like a novel, to be honest, just even how it's set up. It, it's kind of like the old school Alice in Wonderland books where it has the little illustrations. Let's see. So it has all of your techniques and different illustrations to show what that means. It's hard to see, I but the illustrations are in this darker blue and then the background's like this light blue. Um, it's cute in person. I hope you guys can actually see it. But let's go to actual recipes and cocktails because that's probably why you're here. Uh, so we have a white rabbit. I'm not seeing a lot of photos in this uh, cookbook. More illustrations. The Drink Me, which has a yield of one cocktail. And it includes like a cherry hearing, vanilla bean, and cake frosting infused vodka. Oh no, that's evil and delicious. Buttered toast infused rum, turkey rum. Pineapple juice, toffee syrup, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Holy moly, this is like dessert in a in a cup. Let's see if I can find anything with... I'm not seeing really any photography in this book. It's all very... Uh, it's very Alice in Wonderland oriented. Like all of the drinks are definitely derived from Alice in Wonderland. So we have pig and pepper. Here's all of the... Here's the quote where it's actually from in one of the books. And then... It explains where it's from here, and then you just have your cocktail right on the side. I do wish that they had more, you know, like actual photos to showcase exactly what it's supposed to look like. Because for me, as somebody that doesn't really do cocktails, it'd be nice to see what the layering looks like and if I'm doing it correctly, you know. A, we have a Duchess's Soup. Let's see. I'm going to actually take a little second here to see. Yeah. So if you're somebody like me that needs photography, this is probably not a cookbook that uh, is for you, but it's cute. Like, this is great for Alice in Wonderland lovers. I, I would try a few of the recipes and maybe not even worry about how it looks and just mix it all together. Hopefully that's how it's supposed to go. But we see a few, which is interesting, we do see a few photos. So this is like a... Um, a photo for simple sh sugar syrup, even though it clearly is simple sh sugar syrup is a liquid, but it's got cute little ice cubes, or not ice cubes, sugar cubes here. We also have a, f a photo of a rosemary and salt syrup recipe, which is very cool, very elegant. And again, it's just the, the design of this cocktail book is really cool. Then we have here a spiced cinnamon syrup. And you can see, like, here's all the little ingredients you would find in it. So that includes coriander, cloves, brown sugar, and cinnamon sticks. This would be great for fall time. Obviously, we're kind of approaching spring at this moment, but something to keep in mind. And then we have a gorgeous photo of, like, a tea for, obviously, the mad tea party. Uh, we have a Somme tea syrup. I have not even thought about using tea to... Uh, basically make a syrup. That's a really great idea and definitely would up your game as far as flavors go. 
We have an orange curacao, which is, I love the illustration. It's really cool. I, if anything, what I wish that they would have done is had an illustration of the cocktail that you would find. So overall, I, I do think this cookbook is really cute. Um, they have like little charts here too in the very, very, very back here. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up. A conversion chart. So in case you, you know, are using milliliters versus fluid ounces. So that's really nice as well. But I think this is more for avid fans of the Alice in Wonderland world. It definitely is designed that way because it's the same. I mean, I remember my old Alice in Wonderland books and it looks pretty close to what this does, the illustrations inside. Um, there's not a lot of, there's like no photos of the actual cocktails. But if that doesn't bother you, then I do recommend it. It's really cute. I love the references. They have references throughout the cocktail book. And I, yeah, this is a really cute book overall for Alice in Wonderland fans. If you guys want to check out more of our cookbooks, especially cocktail books that probably have more pictures, check out our other videos. You can also come look at us at our blog. We've done plenty of cocktail books over there at cookbookdivas.com. You can also join us on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest. And we also, I almost forgot, we do have a podcast. We try to publish every Friday, but we are trying to move forward to doing Amazon live videos. So come over there. Uh, you'll see our live announcements on usually on Facebook and here on YouTube. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in and we'll see you next time.